What's up guys, today I'll show you some of the best root apps you can get for your Android device. So let's get started. So the first app we have is called Device Control, which basically gives you information about your device and the many tweaks that you can perform on your CPU, GPU or other stuff. So you can check your device information, we will give you all the information about your device and sensors installed on the device. Then you can also change, uh, check your performance, like the CPU temperature and stuff like that. Then the CPU settings where you can change the CPU speed and set a CPU governor. There's also GPU settings where you can tweak some stuff on your GPU. However, GPU settings are not available for all the devices, such as my device is currently not supported. And uh, then there's also boot up restoration where you can change what starts when you boot up your device. And uh, then there's app manager where you can disable and enable apps. Then there's task where you can put up stuff for it to automatically happen at a certain time or when you perform a certain action. Then there's also flasher where you can wipe data or back up your data. It also has other settings like editing build prop and also triggering a media scan. So you can scan stuff when your files are not visible or stuff like that. So it's a great app even though it's mainly for advanced users even though it still comes in handy so let's move on to the next app so the next application is called root firewall which allows you to block internet access for certain applications so you can either block for all applications so they won't be able to use example if you block for 3g they won't be able to use uh, your mobile data but if you block for wi-fi they won't be able to use your wi-fi or you can select individual apps so it comes quite in handy especially when uh, an app is hogging up your data even though you don't want it to use your data at that time. So check it out from Play Store, it's called Root Firewall and it's a free app. Next application is called Pimp My ROM which gives you uh, so many different tweaks and tools to, uh, to use on your device. So it's like a complete package. So here you can see there's uh, Pimp My CPU where you can change the CPU's minimum and maximum frequencies and overclock your device. There's Density Changer which lets you modify your device's LCD density. Then there's other stuff like dual boot animation which is so cool. It's a, So you can have two different boot animations. So the second time you boot, it'll be different from the first time you booted your device, like the animations. Then there's also uh, lock apps in memory and then GPS configurations and other stuff like that. Then moving on to the tweaks, we have network and internet, multitasking which is to improve your device's performance it also has kernel tweaks where you can change some stuff on your device's kernel to make it work better like increase performance then also you can enable and disable other features like this is feature for 16-bit transparency which will improve your performance on your device there are other miscellaneous tweaks where you can change stuff about your camera and uh, your battery life and other stuff it also has other stuff like ad block, pimp my bits, like changing sound quality on your device, other extra stuff you can check over here. Then there's also a help center where you can know what to do. So it's like a complete package. It works quite well and even though it's still in beta, so you might find some problems on certain devices. The next root app allows you to disable certain apps to start up when you boot up your device. So you can disable user apps also system apps even though system apps you have to be careful in case you disable the wrong apps your device can get many problems even though the app actually works quite well and uh, it helps increase performance on the device and also reduces boot time so check it out from the description below moving on is an app called light manager which lets you change the color of notification led lights on different notifications such as missed calls messages emails or even other personal applications. You can also have notification lights for low battery, no signal, or mobile data on, even Wi-Fi if it's on or not. So you also have other settings such as leave, uh, enabling or disabling notification lights for certain applications or certain notifications. You can also change the flash rate where you can choose how many times, for how much time the light will flash. There's also an option for color where you can change so many different colors. So you can have all these default colors or a custom color 
you can get to choose to enter a hex code or just swipe around and choose a perfect color for that notification. For miss calls and messages, it has this cool feature where you can have a different notification light for different contacts. So it's a really cool app, especially if your device has notification LED lights. The next application is another complete package. It's called System Tuner and comes with so many different tweaks for your device. So uh, the first one is called Tasks, where you can check what's running in the background of your device and then kill them to improve performance on your device. Another feature is called Startups, where you can see what starts up when you boot up your device. You can disable them or enable the ones which you actually use. This will help you improve performance on your device and reduce boot time. Another great feature is called System Manager, which lets you uh, tweak so many things on your system, such as editing the build prop or changing the kernel and many other things. It also has this great feature called One Click Optimization, which will do everything for you and you don't have to go manually tweak stuff to improve performance on your device. Another great feature it has is called Terminal Emulator, which lets you type in commands to get stuff done. Then also you can have a CPU, you can change stuff in the CPU, like over here you can see how your CPU is performing and change stuff there. Also you can change the CPU governor. So this app is in like a complete package and it works quite well and it's like a must have especially if you want to improve performance on your device. So do check it out. The next application is called LMT Launcher. Now this one enables spike controls for your device in a pretty neat way. You have the time and uh, the notifications and then the Pi controls themselves. So it offers a high level of customization such as the Pi activation area, you can change the thickness and length. You can also change the Pi style meaning the colors, the radius and even the outline size. There's also Pi behavior where you can change the long press time and animation time. It also includes Pi icons where you can change the icon size and the images and also other Pi extensions. So the reason I choose this one over others is because it offers high level of customizability that is not offered by others on Play Store. Now this one is not on Play Store so you'll have to check the description below for the download link. The next application is one quite many of you know about. It's called Lucky Patcher which gives you a lot of things to do on certain applications. So you can have tools where you can clone the application or stop the application. You can also move an application into the system or out of the system. And then there's other stuff like patches where you can remove license verification, remove Google Ads or create modified APK files. It also includes other stuff like blocking ads, removing all saved purchases or modding Play Store. So it works quite well and you can do a lot with this app. So do check it out, it's not available on Play Store so the download link is in the description below. Moving on is an app called Exposed Installer which is actually like one of the most famous root apps of all time. Now it doesn't do anything on its own but it gives you a section where you can download so many different modules to tweak your entire system. You can either improve performance or make your device look better or even improve battery life. So some of the tweaks are actually like for specific devices but most of them you can use them on any device. Now the most famous module is called Gravity Box. Yeah, and it's available for like all versions of Android or something. There is for Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, Lollipop, and even Marshmallow. So that one actually helps you change how your device looks and feels. So this app is actually really helpful, especially if you want to find a solution to certain problems or something on your device. And it works quite well. And do check it out, it's not available on Play Store, so you'll have to download the APK file from the description below. The last root app is called Drive Droid, which is actually an app not useful for everyone, but a few. So this app allows you to boot up your PC or laptop from your Android device using a USB connection. So it like replaces a flash disk or something. It works really well and can be very useful, especially when some shit has happened to your PC. So do check it out from the description below. That was all for this video. If you have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Th meet you in the next video.